Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we finally have a, a foundation to try. I don't know if it's new or not. I had never seen it before, but I have not been to Sephora in forever because the only Sephora we have here is the one inside JCPenney's, which is going to close because they're gonna move to Kohl's. But I asked Kohl's and they said they weren't getting getting an, a Sephora until like April. And the JCPenney one's still open, but they have a lot of empty counters where like they don't have any tart anymore. And um, they just had a sale because I found this one foundation that I really wanted to try. It was by Bite Beauty, Bite, Bite Cosmetics. I don't know what, Bite, B-I-T-E. Anyways, they did not have my color <laughs> or any of the lighter colors. They didn't have any. So I still want to try that one. Um, it was a cream one. It was like in a tube. Anyways, um, so I couldn't get the tart one that I want to get. It's that dream cream one, the new one. I want to get that one and they don't have it yet at my Ulta, but they're going to get it. So, um, maybe in a few weeks or so, but today we're trying this Fenty beauty one. And this is the, it's hydrating, uh, Fenty beauty hydrating long wear foundation pro filter. So that is what we're trying with. They didn't have the color that we wanted for me. So this was like a shade lighter. So we may have to add our color effects drops to it, but I don't know because I was trying it on the back of my hand and it was a little bit light, but my hand I think is a little darker. So it may be fine just the way it is. Anyways, it's also, it's a, oh yeah, it's a cream tube also. So we're going to try this one today. And then I also got a sample because they didn't have my color of the Sephora brand. And she told me that I was going to love this one. So I will, um, we'll try this one next week. And then hopefully by then I'll be able to get that tart one. And there's another new tart one that I saw on, I think it was on Instagram and it was like a clean one. And I didn't write down the name of it and I went to the chart site and I couldn't find it. So it's that new, and, but it's in one of those turquoise um, bottles, like, like the something by the sea. So I don't know, I don't know what it is because I didn't read it enough because I was just gonna go to the chart site and see if I could get it and they don't have it yet. So maybe it was a coming soon thing. Anyways, we're trying the Fenty one today. Fenty full. <laughs> Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. And my color, this color is T, no, it's 145. But I think it's gonna be a little bit light, but we'll see. Anyways, I've already done my TikTok method stuff to it. So, so we are ready for the primer. And this is the Tarte Base Tape Primer. I really like Tarte, it's one of my favorite brands. And I have my cover effects drops if I need them. Shake this up a little bit. I'm just gonna put one pump for now. It doesn't look that bad. It's a little bit light. See for my hand. I'm thinking that it'll blend into my. No, it's still a little bit light. And then I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna add a half a pump to this just because in case I don't want to have to blend it again, I'm going to grab my cover effects drops and they take such a little amount. I'm just going to take and go like that. And that's it. That's all I'm going to add because they don't take much. And then we're just going to go with it. And hopefully I didn't blend it out so far that I won't have enough because that's all I got. All right, let's grab a brush. And start spreading it out. This is a very dense brush.
What do you think, guys? I haven't looked up close yet, but so far it looks pretty good. Alright, now we're going to go in with a sponge, a damp sponge. kind of dry for a hydrating one it looks really dry maybe I shouldn't have put the TikTok method underneath it but that's so good at keeping it from gathering and lines and I got plenty of lines Let's just keep going and see if it looks better after I, I'll spray it after I put everything else on. Only thing is I need to powder it and I don't know if it can handle it because it looks dry. I don't know guys, only up close. But that's where I'm looking, and I don't want it to look dry. Anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully, it's my imagination, and it'll be fine. Okay, let's go in with our concealer. You need... I think I'm going to have to stop using the TikTok method for winter. I think maybe my skin is just too dry for it. Okay, now we're going to go in with our powder and see if it totally destroys everything. I hope not. So we're going to go in with our powder and get rid of all my lines. Hopefully this foundation doesn't go all dry. Okay, we're gonna move on because I just don't really know if I like it or not. It still looks dry to me. So, next, we're gonna do our regular face stuff, our Bobbi Brown, our Dallas, and my dandelion. Sorry, got lost there for a minute. And I think I'm gonna try this brush for my contour. I normally use this big one from e.l.f. This is a smaller one and I just cleaned it. I want to make sure it's dry. It is. It's not going to be this pretty for very long. Anyways, I'm going into my Bobbi Brown. I just love this Oh, it's my Bobbi Brown bronzer in natural. Yes, in natural. And it's just so pretty. It's just got such a nice red tint to it instead of a orange, I think. That's how I feel about it anyways. And it just really gives a nice color. find this jawline it's starting to disappear so you know and then I'm gonna grab this this is a Japanesque brush and 
it doesn't say but it came in a duo and see they're both they have the, a little bit of an angle and one's small and one's larger and I use them both I use this one for my nose contour And I think I'm just going to go straight on in here and put it in here also as my transition color. So that's that. And put a little under my lip. And then we're going to go into, oh, and then I'll blend this with the bigger one a little bit on the sides. Usually, sometimes I forget. And then this, I don't know, this is, I think, Mo Dares. And one of the cheap sets from Walmart one Christmas, I got like four of them and gave them to all the kids. Well, not all the kids. <laughs> I have way many. Way too many. Um... I gave them to my daughters, and I don't think I gave them to the grandkids. So I only have three daughters, but I have 13 grandkids, and only one, two, three, four of them are boys. I think. Yes. One boy, three boys. Only four of them are boys. Now we're going to go into, actually, first we're going to take this and kind of blend out that blush and bronzer together before we put in our highlight. And I like to do this with my finger. Just put some right there. Right there. And this is my absolute favorite highlight. And it is Dandelion from benefit it is so pretty and take this blend it up just like that and now we are ready to do my brows and I'm going to use my cabrow just got to brush them up what's left of them they were so good for a little while when I was using that serum. The first time I used the um, Grande Lash, Grande Brow. It worked so well on my brows. They were awesome. And I can't believe that when you stop using it, they just fall back out. It's like, why? It helps them grow in, but why would they fall out and not stay that way because it's a growth serum so it made them grow but I don't really understand how it why they didn't just grow back on their own you know what I mean I mean continue to grow you know what I mean alright that's as good as it's going to get it always looks like it's not dark enough right there. But I'm sure it's just because there's no hair actually there. All right, we're going to stop before we get any worse. Now we're going to do our eyeshadow. I think today I want to use the Natasha Denona palette. I paid a lot for this one, and I definitely have not used it enough. So that's what we're going to use today. But I always seem to use the same colors when I use this one. So we're going to try and use some of these ones that aren't touched. Let's start with... I think we're going to use this blend one, though. And we're just going to go in to the crease. We're going to start in the outer part because that's pretty dark.
and then I'm going to pull it in on my lid to about two-thirds of the way over and then we're going to go into let's see what's another color that we haven't used hmm I guess this outer eyelid one right here is kind of dark and we haven't used it much we're going to start in the outer corner with this it's kind of pretty Got a bit of sparkle to it. I like it. All right, now I'm going to take the same brush, clean it off a little bit, go back in with that color before this, and just blend it around the edges here. pull it in a little further especially on this one it's looking pretty smoky which is kind of what I wanted and that's only two colors all right we're gonna take that this color the first color and I'm going to put that underneath. All right, what are we going to do in the center? Okay, let's do this one. It looks like we haven't used it. It's called Inner Corner. <laughs> and it's like the lightest sparkly one in the palette. And I'm going to use my finger. That's what color it is. It's going to be gorgeous. And I'm just going to kind of overlap it a little bit over the, the darkness that we already put. This is such a great palette. And these formulas are awesome. All right, now we're going to go in and we're going to put a smudgy line because we're so smoky already but I need something to connect this the lashes first actually I'm going to take a super fluffy brush and go around the edges here and just with nothing on it just blend them and then kind of blend all these colors together without muddying them and then I'm going to take this sponge and just kind of sharpen that like that and then we're going to go in and put on liner and I'm going to use my what is this maybe we'll use this this is <sighs> Dolce Let's see. I don't remember if I like it. Smudge is good, so we're going to use it. Because my other ones are this big. So I'm just going to put some on this top. And you don't have to be super precise because we're going to smudge it. My camera turned off so anyways you saw me put on the liner that's what I've done before I realized it was turned off and now we're gonna do some lips I think we're gonna do something dark and awesome these it's kind of a rust colored one we'll put it on yeah. 
That's creamy. That's it for our look today. What do you guys think? What do I think of this foundation? Because it's late, so I can't do a wear test on it. But I'm telling you right now, I don't love it. I can see that, oh, I was going to spray it. I'll spray it. See if that makes it look a little bit less dry. Okay. We'll do that. And we'll spray it with this tart Miracle Mist. Maybe that'll do it. Give it a good spray. And now we're going to press it in. And then dry it. It looks better already. I think it's a good look so far. And it did help a lot. Would I give it a thumbs up? No. Because it's still sinking into lines a little bit. Just a little bit, but... I don't know. I just, I, I just, it's not my favorite. It looks okay now. It looks pretty good on camera. Ugh, the light, sorry about that. It looks pretty good on camera. Up close, not as good, but not as bad as it was before I sprayed it. So I'd give it a meh. Probably a thumbs down for me though, just because there's so many good ones out there right now. I really love the, the water foundation one from Tarte, which is an old one. You know what? I need to go back and use some of these ones that I loved because I have so many and they're not really releasing any new ones right now. Like this NARS one, I can't remember. Plus the fact that if even if I loved it when I tried it, it was still summertime. I should definitely do that, maybe. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. I want to start adding more stuff like all this, this diet stuff. I would love to do that on my stories on Instagram. But I can't put any links because I don't have enough followers. So I need to get a lot of followers so that I can start just posting stuff during the day, just, you know, walking around. When I find something at the store, it's like, ooh, look at this. And then I can post a link to it if you want it. Or if you just want to see a better look at it. And I can post links to, like, what I'm wearing and to the diet things. And just, it would just be nice to be able to post a link. Because if I do it right now, I was thinking that I could. But I would have to just, like, on the next screen after in my stories, I could put put the link, just type it out, and then you could screenshot it and type it in, but that's like a lot harder than just having a clickable link. So, but I can't do that and they don't let you do that until you have 10,000 followers. And I don't, I don't even think I have a thousand. So I'm a long ways from it, but I would like to do all the diet stuff, especially like after the 28 days when I'm still trying to lose weight because I have way more than that to lose. Um, rather than making videos, I would rather do that on my stories on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram and we'll see what we get done and share it so that we get followers fast. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.